What's going on guys, Spiteful Hopes here, coming at you with a little update. So, um, so after I made my video and uploaded it on my first vlog, I, um, I said stuff that I wanted to do and, um, I already made steps to doing everything. Um, I contacted LASIK on Wednesday and they said that I could come in as little as the next day. So I went on Thursday and today's Friday. I went on Thursday and, um... They gave me these lubricating eye drops I'm supposed to put on every two hours, and I'm actually going to put them in right after I'm done with this video. And they also prescribed me three things that I'm going to need after, <laughs> after the actual procedure. Now I have prednisolone, acetate, carob... I can't even read this one. Keterolac, tromethamine, and uh, what is this last one? Oh, flaxacin. Now, um... A lot of them are antibiotics, so I'm like allergic to penicillin, so I can't really uh, do anything on that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so they said not to use any of the antibiotics beforehand, which obvious is obvious. So, but I've been putting these in every single two hours. I actually have my uh, little timer that goes off every two hours also. Um, I went in, they sat me in, they saw me r almost right away. I filled in my forms to... You know, you always have to register when you go to a doctor's office. Uh, uh, the pricing came out to about $2,500 per eye. They're, they have like a 20% off or something going on. And uh, I'm not financing, so I think they said that they cut off more money. So the total um, the total came out to $3,500 flat um, with a $100 deposit, which uh, I'm fine with. My, they, my surgery will be tomorrow afternoon around 12 o'clock is my actual appointment time they said that it takes like two to five hours to process everything and set everything up but they said that the procedure itself is, takes about 15 minutes um they said it's as little as like a minute per eye at the very most um i wasn't able to get lasik so i'm getting prk instead because my prescriptions are actually really really bad and um what's funny is when i went to the appointment uh, my glass, my little screw over here, since these glasses are pretty old, um, the the lens actually popped out. So I'm, I was I was like laughing because I'm just like I'm like yep I'm so glad I'm gonna be done with these. Uh, another update: I already started a schedule. I already I'm in talks with um, I think his name is Bobby Bobby Cupero Cupero or Cupero. Uh, he's a tattoo artist that's in the city, and um, I seen his work. His work is really good. He's a bit pricey, but um, hopefully what I want, it gets to be done in like one day. So it's not, hopefully it's not too expensive or anything like that. I already talked to his assistant and his assistant said that he would be interesting and interested in working on me. So that'd be great. Um, It'll be my first tattoo. So I'm kind of worried because what I want to get is kind of, I don't want to say large, but um, involved. And uh, I just, I just don't want to tap out and I don't want to pay money and then tap out. So hopefully that goes well. Hopefully everything pans out. Um, yeah. So um, I'm gonna go put my drops in, go to sleep, um, and get lasered, get my eyes lasered off, and um, yeah. So that'll be it for now. Um, I'll update you guys like as soon as I'm done. I gotta make room in my phone because my phone's almost like full. I, you know, I have like a 128. Mm, gigabyte micro SD card and apparently my phone's incompatible with it my phone will actually like shut off and reset itself over and over and over again infinitely so um yeah that's Samsung for you uh, I do need to update my phone but um yeah so that's my update on my late LASIK and uh getting my tattoo um I do plan on going skydiving either sometime in the summer either that or maybe just get a what is it the flash pass for six flags like the whatever high-end pass that thing is pretty pe that, that thing is pretty beefy i went last i went like three years ago and i think we rode el toro on a one hour like a one and a half hour wait to wait time i think i rode it back to back to back to back i think we rode it i want to say like five times in less than 20 to 30 minutes like it was the turnaround for that was ridiculous so i'm definitely looking forward to this year um and going out more uh yeah so yeah that's an update on me um hope y'all are doing fine you know what it is grind on catch me up hit me up stay blessed guys take care